Hi, I'm Richard Armitage, and I'm so excited to be joining you to celebrate the global release of Ken Follett's new novel, The Evening and the Morning, part of the Kingsbridge series and a prequel to The Pillars of the Earth. One of the reasons I became an actor was that I was always fascinated with literature. It, it formed the basis of my imagination. I'm a words person rather than a pictures person. Um, I was always a bit of a bookworm as well. And as I got older, I realized that it was historical fiction that was really triggering me and fascinating me and thrilling me. Ken Follett's writing is the epitome of the best of this genre. Because I think when you blend real historic events with real historical people, real characters from, from time, with fictional characters coming out of the mind and the imagination of the author, it gives you a sense of time and place and it really anchors the story in truthfulness. It's what I look for as a reader, but also as an actor. I, I need to believe the world in which uh, I'm visiting in literature. And I think Ken does that so brilliantly um, and what it does to you as a reader or a listener is, it, is that it makes you feel safe. You feel safe in the hands of this author. And he's able to kind of wrap you around his creative little finger. So my closest association with Ken Follett was when I was lucky enough to be chosen to record or perform The Man from St. Petersburg for Audible. Um, I was given five days to record the story, but actually we, we finished recording in three and I couldn't work out why. And it became clear that um, apart from my excitement to get back in the booth and just keep working and keep telling the story, there was something about the momentum of Ken's writing and the way that he not only unfolded the plot, but pieced together with real stealth and intrigue each character's journey. So for an actor to approach this kind of, this kind of material is, is like food, um, sustenance. Uh, and I remember afterwards sitting with the producer and, um, and the publisher and, and just expressing how, how thrilling it was to read this kind of work. And, and we, but we all agreed that Ken is an absolute master of this genre. So it became clear to me that Ken's detail, his research, and his curiosity with real events and character was something that was giving me a very cinematic feel to his writing. And I, as a fledgling producer, I'm always looking for literature that does that. Um, and I think Pillars of the Earth is a perfect example of material that translates brilliantly from a novel to a screenplay. So I thought I would push my luck and try and set up a meeting with Ken. Um, gentleman that he is, he invited me to lunch and we sat down and um, so little old me is sitting opposite Ken Follett, one of the greatest British authors of all time. And, um, but it, it was really obvious to me that he, he was very excited about the, the, the ideas that I had and the material, developing his material into something uh, beyond the page. Um, but also, there was something about his character, his intellect, his patriotism, um, and his very, very dry sense of humour that really made me realise why I like his writing so much. Um, and. I, I left the, the lunch really hoping that in the future I'd get the opportunity to try and develop some of his brilliant writing into, into television or film, and uh, it's work in progress. So to celebrate publication day, I had just received my very own copy of The Evening and the Morning by Ken Follett, and I cannot wait to read it but before I do I'm just going to share with you some of the blurb at the beginning to try and tempt you into buying your own copy. A time of conflict. It is 997 CE, the end of the dark ages. 
and England faces attacks from the Welsh in the west and the Vikings in the east. Life is hard, and those with power wield it harshly, bending justice according to their will, often in conflict with the monarchy. With the king's grip on the country fragile, and with no clear rule of law, chaos and bloodshed reign. Three lives intertwined. Into this uncertain world, three people come to the fore. A young boat builder who dreams of a better future when a devastating Viking rage shatters the life that he and the woman he loves hoped for. A Norman noblewoman who follows her beloved husband across the sea to a new land, only to find her life there shockingly different. And a capable monk at Shearing Abbey who dreams of transforming his humble home into a centre of learning admired throughout Europe. The dawn of a new age. Now, with England at the dawn of the Middle Ages, these three people will each come into dangerous conflict with a ruthless bishop who will do anything to increase his wealth and power. In an epic tale of ambition and rivalry, death and birth, and love and hate. Wow, that sounds brilliant. And there's a really beautiful map on the, on the inside cover. Uh, so I cannot wait to read this book and I hope you all enjoy it too. Uh, and finally, one thing to say, Ken, happy publication day.